Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you some of the best food I've eaten in the past month exploring Chicago. I hope you enjoy. It was a random Wednesday night and we were feeling restless. So we went to Margie's Candies, which is a candy and ice cream shop that's been around for a hundred years. We both had our first ever banana split, which was fun and extremely decadent, but way too much sugar. It was a nice way to blow off some steam and talk about our dreams. Wow, I did not intend for those to rhyme. It was a Friday night and we had just come from an SG Lewis concert at Radius in Chinatown. And we stopped by Ken Ki for some late night Cantonese food. They renovated the spot last year, so now it's more fun and colorful. The food is as tasty as ever though, and maybe the alcohol helped too. We were in search of a new spot to do work and grab lunch, so we hit up Orkanoi, which is a brewery in Humboldt Park that opened up last year. They're located in the Kimball Art Center. It also has a coffee shop called Dayglow Coffee inside as well. They serve Nordic-inspired food and even have a little market in the back with some wines and other goodies. My favorite thing we ordered was probably the crispy potato pancakes with smoked roe and topped with dill sour cream. After that, we did an impromptu mini food crawl. So we stopped by this Mexican bakery called La Estrella on Armitage Ave. I grabbed an apple pastry, which was really flaky and had what a sweet think? apple filling. It's pretty good. It's very jammy. Right. Then we discovered this small Middle Eastern grocery store with a tiny restaurant in the back called Yabas Food and Middle Eastern Grill. This spot has been highlighted by Steve Jelinski, aka The Hungry Hound, as having terrific falafel. The guy at the front was super friendly and the falafel ended up being fabulous, perfectly seasoned and piping hot. They were able to get the outside crispy while keeping the inside moist. The next week, I met up with my friend Sue for dinner at Second Generation. It's a new restaurant in Logan Square opened by the team behind Mott Street. They reconcepted their second location, Mini Mott, into a more upscale Asian-inspired spot. We ordered scallops with corn, as well as the midnight pasta, which had pork belly and was topped with an onsen egg and anchovy breadcrumbs. The Calbi steak frites were served with these crispy fries and we ordered them with the dip, as recommended by our server. After dinner, Andrew and I met up at Remedy Bar for a cheeky Thursday night cocktail. This spot does a happy hour Monday through Friday until 7 p.m., which is pretty rare in the city. My drink was called Passionably Late and was made with passion fruit and gin. Fast forward to Friday night, and I met up with a few friends for a night out in Logan Square. We went to Easy Does It, which is a wine bar that actually gets pretty rowdy on the weekends. There's a live DJ and disco ball, and they specialize in wines, but make really good cocktails too. The following day, we drove to Maywood, Illinois to stop at Al's Drive-In, which is a family-owned and operated fast food stop that serves both Chinese American and American food. From fried rice and egg rolls to hot dogs and burgers, they've been open since 1955. Andrew heard about them from Chicago's Best. They're known for their fried rice, and I gotta tell you, their combo fried rice is terrific. Andrew and I had a date night at SKY in Pilsen. We've been curious about this spot for years. We were able to sit at the chef's counter, which was super fun to look into the kitchen and watch the chefs prepare the food. I ordered a cocktail with yuzu and soju, which was delicious. They first served us an amuse-bouche with edamame, served on some sort of a crunchy cracker. I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of. Kind of like guacamole, but not quite. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. yeah. How do you say that? But it's edamame. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Then they served us the hamachi sashimi, 
which was seasoned with black sesame ponzu and topped with puffed rice, which added a nice bit of crispiness to the bite. Then we had the Japanese Caesar salad, which was perfect for a bit of freshness. The black truffle croquettes were also terrific. They were gooey and cheesy inside, and the black truffle scent was the perfect amount. Oh my God. My favorite dish though had to be the lobster dumplings. The sauce it was served in was so good that we were scraping the bowl with our spoons. The dumpling sort of reminded me of a more upscale shrimp shumai. I also have to shout out the service overall. The chefs at the chef's counter, Daria and Christopher, were super friendly and engaging and always willing to answer our questions, as was our server, Leroy, and the general manager, Kelly. Like Their fried chicken is also one of the most popular dishes for sure. It's dipped and deep fried with a club soda batter three times. It was served with this cream corn that you could tell was made fresh and this terrific, terrific fermented hot sauce. We also got their salmon, which was perfectly cooked and served with crunchy phyllo and crispy potatoes. For the dessert, we got the Okinawa Black, made with dark chocolate, crispy soy milk, and kumquat. I think there was sesame in there because it tasted very deep and toasty as well. And then they also served us some sort of cheesecake with a white wine gel, which was super creative and tasty. We were stuffed by the end. It was such a fun night, and I'm excited to try their other spots too. So good. You the like white it? wine, yeah. So creative. I've never seen this before, ever. The following day, I met up with my sister for brunch. It was the day before Halloween, so of course I had to dress up in my dragon onesie. We went to Ann Sather in Lakeview, which is a brunch spot that's known for their cinnamon rolls. I got a chorizo omelet with a side of cinnamon rolls, and my sister got a crab cake benedict. It was super busy, but all the staff were super kind and we had a lot of leftover food. Anyways, thanks for watching as always. I hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you in the next video. Bye.